Welcome everybody in the Movie Guys Verse. This is Jordan here, part of Movie Guys Podcast. We wanted to say thank you so much for downloading this most recent episode. If you don't know what Movie Guys Podcast is, we are a new movie review show that is updated weekly. You can check us out at movieguyspodcast.com and also movieguyspodcast.podbean.com. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another awesome episode of Movie Guys Podcast. And tonight we're talking about Vice, starring Christian Bale, Amy Adams, Steve Carell, Sam Rockwell, Tyler Perry, produced by Will Ferrell and Brad Pitt, and directed by Adam McKay. I am Jordan, and I am joined here, like always, with Eric and Ed. Eric, how are you doing tonight? Uh, a little bit more depressed after watching this movie. I'm not gonna lie. You know, you think you you think you know a guy, right, Ed? I feel like I got shot in the face. Oh, oh! And then apologized for getting shot in the face. Exactly. Yeah. Holy shit! Uh, this this movie is that was real. That was real, by the way. I do when it that. was when it was one of those where you you kind of lived through the events. Now, here's the thing: is that. <clears throat> Around this time, because this is obviously a movie about Dick Cheney, everybody, if you didn't get it from Vice, and about, you know, how the movie's Dick Cheney and how Christian Bale plays Dick Cheney. But uh, that living through it, I was like in high school, around, uh, going high school, college, mm-hmm. uh, kind of around this time, so like 2000, high school going into college. And uh, I don't know what, what this means. The, <laughs> But, you know... It, Politics aren't really the, the the forefront of your of your thoughts at around that time. So getting into more of it now, and then looking back into seeing kind of what you lived through, you're just like, what the what the fuck? Like mm-hmm. it was uh, well acted to say the least. But holy shit, man! Um, I hope a lot of that was exaggerated. All of it was. Well, yeah, because they tell you at the beginning of the movie, we only kind of sort of know what happened. So we're just going to make fun of the rest. True that. So uh, I would take the situations are real. I don't take that their behavior is whatsoever, but I'd say the, situ- the situations are definitely very. Yeah, uh, very you know, Eric. Like much best. like much like you, you know, I was in high school at the time. I mean, I was. In, I remember the moment when the the, the the planes hit the towers. I remember exactly where I was. I was in seventh grade study hall. And I, you know, I remember them when well, they wheeled the TV in so we could watch it. The only reason I bring that particular moment up is because this was, you know, my my youngest memory really as a as a preteen teenager, and then you know, graduating high school and then going into college. My first ever campaign I ever worked on was the John Kerry campaign, so I was very involved in what was happening. Uh, I was 16; I was even old enough to vote at that time. So I was, you know. I, I just like you. I, I, I lived it. Uh, I don't want to say that I was more or less involved than you or anybody else, but I, I distinctly re- distinctly remember all of these things happening and playing themselves out on the news. And it was interesting to see. I guess a, I don't want to call it a backstory because they tell you right off the bat that they're going to exaggerate, and make fun of the stuff that they're they they don't know that they can't prove. So here's the thing, though, is that <clears throat> with uh, we have a different type of movie. We have um, kind of like this this um, True story, kind of. Uh, I, I mean, I, it's not even biographical if it's going to be that uh, um, inaccurate. I guess with a right. lot of it, and with that, I'm not saying again. I don't know uh, um, what what happened, what really didn't, uh, what happened, what really did happen. But I do know that uh, during whatever was going on, I remember in high school or, or in college hearing kind of uh, just through news channels or whatever that it seemed. Like Dick Cheney was was really running the show. That Bush, and I believed it because, I mean, we all remember W, right? Sure. Yeah. Which, by the way, Sam Rockwell is a goddamn gem. Let's. <laughs> there, you know what I mean? Like when you can have a, a a character actor such as he that can do the range and the way that uh, I mm-hmm. think it was just great. The the looks you can just tell. 
you know. I'm glad Will Ferrell didn't do it. <laughs> you know, I was afraid he was gonna when I heard when I heard who was directing and writing this movie. I'm sure they did I, with the idea. Like, you, you oh, have, I'm sure. I'm sure they did. I, I'm sure they did. You know, so, Ed, um, I'm surprised that you're two years younger than me. I forgot about that because when the towers fell, I was a freshman in high school. Um, I've been to the towers. I was uh, I was at the World Trade Center towers in Easter of 2001 with my family on an Easter vacation. So I got a chance to take pictures. We still have those pictures now of the uh, Trade Center. Um, mm-hmm. I guess spoilers right now sure. uh, because I've been kind of. I talked to Ed about a little bit with it, Eric, before we did the show, and I'm 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 probably going to surprise you here. This is probably, um, spoilers, the worst movie I've seen in a long time. Whoa! Okay, okay. I'm excited that you said this. <laughs> I'm excited. But, oh, oh. Let me let me finish my candy bar here. <laughs> you 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 almost chucked on your right Twix. Not uh, the left one. The oh, right. okay. It's, it's a Kit Kat. Oh, okay. Tomato, tomato. Well, you took a well, you took a break from the show to you know we gave you a break. There are no sides. There are only quarters in a Kit Kat. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> everyone's equal. Mm-hmm. I'll break I'll break you up all the same. Anyway. Oh. Oh. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. Well, I, but it, it worked. It, anyway. You're you're allowed to because I actually remember um, before watching this movie. Um, you know, it's one of those things where. You give us a schedule, and we have a movie to prep. And so that week going into it, it's, you know, first, you know, trying to find the data to, to watch it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but before seeing the movie, it seems like you, you take notice to any time you hear mention of that movie. And you, you guys know me. I like to try to stay in the dark as much as I possibly can. But I hear mm-hmm. it on the radio, and I hear it whatsoever. I hate radio opinion. It's usually just... I don't like them. I, I That's just basically what that is. I feel like they are just – anyone on the radio as far as uh, um, FM radio, I feel like they, they have to purposefully kind of dumb down everything, and I just don't like that. Um, right. For the most part. And I'm saying everybody. I'm just saying for, for the most part. To engage whatever the hell. Mm-hmm. They were talking – they were shitting on this movie real bad. That's where I'm getting to is that there was a morning show, and they were, they were all talking about how – they couldn't understand it, how they didn't know what was going on, about how the pacing was slow, about how whatever that whatever they didn't they, they was boring and they just didn't like it. And it was just I don't know, it kind of it was just like maybe you just didn't get it. That was that was my res- my response. Sure. Know, mm-hmm. Initially just going but um I didn't realize that this was an Adam McKay movie. And I also didn't realize that he was doing this movie pretty much in the style of the big short. So yeah, I'm it was, trying it to, was, to repeat some Oscar magic here. I would think that he would almost have to be, from what I was seeing. You know, I'm not. I don't want to give my full opinion of the movie just yet. I, I, quick, you know, quick synopsis. I mean, they they ended the movie like a quarter of the way through it. They give you like a false ending, and and it's a quarter of the way through it. It's not even. And it, that was pretty. I, I it kind of enjoyed that part. You know, but. Go ahead, go ahead. Actually, I yeah. Go. Uh, the thing is, is like I I enjoyed all of Adam McKay's movies up until this one, and I had my reservations going in. I'll save my full review till the end, but my biggest fear, and I again, I told you, I, I told y'all, I worked on John Kerry's campaign. I volunteered on John Kerry's campaign as a sixteen-year-old. I was very much more politically aware than most 16-year-olds. And I distinctly remember a lot of things that had happened in at that time. I mean, I remember a lot of things, which this isn't a political show, so I'm not going to get into the, those discussions. But my biggest fear was that they're going to take some very serious things about Dick Cheney and they were going to make fun of him. And that's unfortunately exactly what happened. It was a, it was, uh, Christian Bale did an imperson, impersonation. He didn't act as him. He did an impersonation of. Uh, but his job, he did it, I did, still don't think he did an awful job. What pissed me off was the caricatures that they made of George Bush and 
Donald Rumsfeld. They made fun of those guys hardcore. And those two guys are serious dudes. Like, one was the president of the United States. You can make fun of Donald Trump because because the guy is basically a cartoon in himself. And you're allowed to make fun of the president. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, it's the point of, our, of, of, of democracy and free speech. But, like, they got these – they think these of these dudes as basically retards when they're not. They're I, very smart dudes. I, I, and, I, I, I wouldn't try to cut you off there, but it's more like they're just players in the game. Yeah, and I, I get that. That's I get I that. And I know, yeah, and but you know, Josh Brolin did the same thing in W. You know, it's they took these. I hate, I hate to. I hate that I'm about to say this, but they took these liberal caricatures of these people and put them out there, and now it's getting Oscar bus because of these liberal caricatures, not actual facts. Sure. So, uh, and again, I prefaced where I've come from. I prefaced my political thoughts on it. But I'm talking from a film perspective. I, I I I have a hard time with this movie, and I had a hard time with W because of, for the same reason. Okay, so so you guys brought some interesting points, but I'm going to give you guys my point of why I think this movie is the shittiest movie I've seen in a long time. Um, best way to say it is this movie is wrong in every technical level ever. This movie insults my intelligence as a film student when I was when I was a film student. Okay. Everything that you are taught about film, this movie does absolutely wrong. Uh, there is no ABC plot. Uh, the movie jumps ahead constantly. Uh, I felt like when I was watching this movie, I was on speed because the movie starts off with uh, Dick Cheney drunk for six seconds screaming, and then it jumps, and then it jumps, and then it jumps, and then it jumps. It's terrible quick cutting. Uh, Christian Bale, uh, give Christian Bale the Oscar for American Psycho in 2000. Don't give him an Oscar for eating a thousand Big Macs to get fat. That's all he did in this movie was get fat and give us the Batman voice. That's all he did. Where are the other burgers going? Um, Sam Rockwell, Eric, I agree with you. Sam Rockwell is a fun actor. I've always liked him and stuff. Hell, I kind of fell in love with him with Iron Man 2. That movie wasn't great, but he was fun in it. Um, he was he was fun as Bush. Uh, Ed, I will not uh, agree with you that he, that uh, the Sam Morocco was a caricature of, of 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 who he was. I don't think that's what their goal was. I just think I just don't think they knew what kind of movie they were making. Uh, the Big Short, which Adam McKay's last movie was before this one, was great. I still watch The Big Short all as much of the times as I can. It's a great film. This movie sucks. The acting is terrible. Uh, the editing is just absolutely dog shit. People say it's boring. It's too fast. It jumps constantly. I don't know what I'm watching. It constantly goes, 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 and doesn't give me a chance to actually figure out a story about who Dick Cheney is. It doesn't tell me who Dick Cheney is. Well, and that is the problem. Fair enough. I, yeah. Um, all it does, again, to repeat myself, it gives me Christian Bale eating a thousand Big Macs and doing the Batman voice. Don't give him the Oscar for that. He doesn't deserve it. This movie... Uh, uh, this movie was made with sixty million dollars, and it hasn't even grossed thirty million yet. This movie's shit. It is terrible. It's 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 just it's just the technical aspects, the writing, the acting, the cinematography, the directing choices, the editing. It's just wow. Don't waste your time, so, fans. Er everything Adam McKay you did not like about this movie. Everything Adam McKay before this movie I really liked. I mean, like I. Like his Will Ferrell shit, it's fun. Like I said before, I, I'm i kind of like a closet Will Ferrell fan. Every time he makes a movie, I won't go see it in theaters, but I'll see it at home because I think they're fun. You know, it's just Will Ferrell's just funny to me. Um, and The Big Short was great, Eric. It yeah. was a great film. Uh, it was well acted. It, it, it told a story. This, it just jumps. It jumps constantly. And not in a good way like a Pulp Fiction or any other Tarantino films. It just jumps constantly, and I don't know where I, what I'm watching. One scene, he's old. One scene, he's young. He always is fat, but like, okay, fine. I will, I'll, I'll say this in my rant. He's a drunk, allegedly. He's a drunk. He gets kicked out of Yale. He meets Amy Adams, 
And she says to him, you're never allowed to drink again or I'll leave you. And he says, okay. And then the next scene, he's an intern with his own private office in the White House. Right. Well, you did skip a couple of things, but it was real quick thereafter, yes. Yeah, it was was like five minutes. It's like, it doesn't make sense. Like, where's the struggle? Where's the Christian Bale acting where it's like, I'm struggling between my alcoholism and my love for you? Because, no, 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 no. Um, I see what what type of movie you're going for. This type of movie that I that I had seen was um, I interpreted much differently. Is that I'm not watching a movie uh, that's supposed to paint a human being. I'm watching a movie about what a bunch of people did at the expense of everybody else. I'm I'm watching a movie where these people a- actually believe that like. This this power thing, this game that they're playing, is a you know just another Tuesday type of thing. You know they're they're always thinking about what else, how they can turn it, how they can do something, how they can work it. That's just well, in the game, man. This is what I see. I see House of Cards to, in this. And, and to bridge the two points that y'all are making, that's the second Eric. That's the second half of this movie. Yeah, it, it's it's that's that's what it is. I mean, it's a hundred percent. To sort of, however, agree with with Jordan, it jumps from like a bio a biopic to a comedy to a House of Cards style, uh, you know, play and manipulation kind of story. I, I almost was going to compare the second half of the movie to Wag the Dog, the, the yeah. movie Wag the Dog. Yeah, you know, which you know, in real life, that kind of stuff did happen. I'm not saying it doesn't. It's just. It, it was several different types of movies all rolled into one, and I, I I I can't say that I hated the movie like Jordan did. I didn't hate the movie from a from a you know a film critic perspective, but man oh man, like I I got I didn't get confused because I knew what was happening and I knew I knew Dick Cheney's biography to a certain degree, but if I didn't, I would have got confused as all hell. I think. Yeah, I, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Eric. No. Well. Okay. So just as you were saying, that this, the way that the story goes, it, it's that uh, we presume or assume that they don't know a whole lot about the dude himself, mm-hmm. and so we get glimpses to kind of like these drinking partying days, which seems to be like the trend for everyone in power right now. They all mm-hmm. seem to have some sort of these reckless fucking days where they were just hopelessly in the toilet. Drunk. I really, I really like beer. Why don't you like beer? Yeah, exactly. So we, we yeah, exactly. Or W <laughs> is at that point. I mean, so like, excuse me, Mister Kavanaugh. What is a devil's triangle? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh! Uh, it's a, it's a, hey, it's a drinking game. Movie, it's a movie drinking show. Game. Movie show. <laughs> movie show. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like it, it, these people are running the country now, and this seems to be kind of this, this, this new thing too. I feel like though that this movie wasn't. Like it, it's not telling a story of this no. man's life, though. It's just no. like, uh, hey, there's a we know more about all the, the bullshit that happened during uh, uh, the 2000s, and mm-hmm. we want to expose it a bit more, but make it seem may not go on, uh, you know, a, sh- a talk show to talk about it or write a book mm-hmm. about it too. I'll do it in, well, how I know it, which is how I make a movie. And I appreciate. I listen. I actually like the style. Of how he, of how the movie goes, about how um, in these informative parts where you have mm-hmm. a cut of Naomi Watts as an anchor, so you have a big name star as an, as a person, or the waiter, the waiter scene, mm-hmm. uh, where uh, he was, you know, oh, tonight we have, you know, over the side of Guantanamo Bay, which is, you know, and <laughs> explaining yeah. exactly what all that is. So it's, yeah. I, I appreciate that style, but. Yeah, this movie. You, if you knew nothing about Dick Cheney or even just a little bit, maybe of who who he was, this movie would have been hard to follow because it's going into the movie. Uh, um, it assumes that you know who this person is. It assumes that you know the crimes against him. You and see, I mean? now that's the fault of the movie, though, because yes. us being the age we are. We didn't care. Eric, you've already spelled it out. Ed, you said you're 16 in the politics, but generally our age, the early 30s, mid 30s, didn't give a shit 
about Dick Cheney and Bush. We were care we were caring more about chasing tail and in college, really. Sure, so, sure, but we lived through it though. We and lived through it. So there are those moments where it kind of showed what they were doing, and then they had like these montages of what was going on in the world while that was going on. How exactly. we were, you know, like the, the was that part. But see what, but, 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 but what sucks is that with my point is that while we were in college chasing tail, now we get to this movie now, we want to see, and I'm saying we, we the audience want to see a movie about Dick Cheney. If you're going to make a movie about Dick Cheney, give me a movie about Dick Cheney. Tell me about it. Instead of these, uh, cliff notes, these, uh, spark notes, if you will, if you guys remember that from school. <laughs> sure do. Yeah. You know, like, like, give me, give me that shit. No, what they gave me was, this is what we think happened. But they're going to give you a bunch of mumbled, terrible editing choices that makes me just confused. And it just, it doesn't tell me a good story. And, and, I, and I'm lost and you do not have me. I, I can't disagree with you there because just like how you said how it started. First off, it was like 15 or 20 minutes before intro reel kicked in. Mm-hmm. That's like a thing for a while, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it's, like, it's not a James Bond movie, man. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So, yes, yeah, so that was one uh, where I was just like, what the hell is going on? Uh, that was seemed unnecessary. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, whatever. The the other part is, uh, yeah, with, I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> well, it, it, I mean, like, I, I don't want to keep on repeating myself, so I'm going to try to figure out something to say. Oh, the pace. I mean, like, that, that, One of the things that I uh, really did enjoy was Amy Adams. Um, I've had a love affair with Amy Adams ever since I saw her in The Fighter. Um, okay, that's, that's what it is, the pacing. But we, yeah. we don't know how they met. We don't know any of their history besides no. that it was just rocking from the start. Uh, um, again, a lot of it was back and forth between him like starting to him finishing <clears throat> real quick. Like They glossed over terms. You know, yeah. uh, and by terms, mm-hmm. I mean not like definitions, but like presidential, yeah, like terms. Nixon and Nixon and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I'm like Watergate was a big fucking deal. They talked about it for five seconds and moved on, which I guess they thought maybe you know everybody knows about Watergate at this point in time. But uh, still, wrong I mean, audience. Like, Direct, well, wrong well, audience. Well, well, but I have to say, at, well, and while that's true, Watergate happening was how Cheney got into the White House because. Or how he became, you know, got more power because he was not tarnished by Watergate. He was one of the few Republicans in D.C. that had nothing to do with Watergate and they still had to run the country. So they just picked this young guy. True. And he became chief of staff. That's basically what it is. We're we're just going down the the list, the same Wikipedia page that I think the writer, I don't know, probably looked at. (laughs) Yeah, right. right? I mean, but I I was talking about Amy Adams. Um, If anybody would be a great uh, actor, in my opinion, in this movie, it's definitely Amy uh, Amy Adams. Uh, Look from this, not from a real-life person perspective, uh, but look at it from a character perspective. Man, she is an evil shrew, and she was the reason why that this character of Dick Cheney uh, became in the power the way he was. She was the one that manipulated him. I, I, everybody thought that Bush was the puppet. No, nah, it was Cheney because his wife was there pulling the strings the whole time, according to this movie. That's true. I, I, that's the one thing that I'll say about this movie that goes outside of the norm and that it, it, he, they all blame his wife. Yeah, it, it did seem to give him a lot of heart with family moments. Like He really seemed to, to have a real soft spot for his daughters. And it well, if you remember a lot too, right? if you remember during the vice presidential debate in in, in 04 when uh, they went after him, when when John Edwards went after him about being a hypocrite on gay marriage, he he ate him alive. I don't remember exactly what was said. He goes, "Look, it doesn't matter whether the president what the president believes or doesn't believe. I don't agree with him. I have a gay daughter. Now go sit down and shut up." Yeah, basically, like it was yeah. something. It was he didn't say it like that, but it was. And that was that they did point that to that out. It's like you're you're never you're gonna have a problem. This is my daughter. I will not defend. I will not defend you. I yeah. you know I so they do at least that's the one factual thing I think that they got about this movie about Dick Cheney was how much he loved loves his his daughters and the fact that the, we're skipping over the part that the narrator of the movie was the guy who died so he could have a fucking heart. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. That was retarded. Uh, that was an interesting way to, to, to do that. 
Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. I I, I mean, I was like, because guy, guys have been in the movie, which, but this, which, which this actor, I cannot name his name, but this actor has been everywhere. I have seen him in a lot of movies, uh, but uh, the one that I first saw him in was he was a part of the uh, neo-Nazi gang in Breaking Bad. He was mm-hmm. the young kid. Yep. And then he's just grown into some of these great iconic roles that I like him in recently in the past few years. Uh, we then, we saw him in uh, Game Nights. His name's uh, Jesse Clemens. Jesse Clemens, yep. Well, hopefully... Yeah, I we told you we more. reviewed Game Night, Jordan. You, you we did not it. review Game Night. What? Yeah, we did. I, I totally, totally reviewed Game Night. We did not, but that's yes. okay. Continue. We did, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> we did not, and I'm going to prove it right now, live on air, because I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you guys that I'm wrong, because I'm not. We did not what? review Game no, Night, so we, continue. What? We I, definitely reviewed Game Night. We reviewed nope. Game Night. Just because you didn't put it we, up there, we like definitely reviewed. Was it like a reviewed... thing? Did we do like a like a special episode with it then? We talked no. about Game Night. We, we, no, we definitely did not. talked about Game Night because I specifically remembered thinking and talking about how creepy Jesse Plemons was. Yeah. No. Like, he killed that movie, dude. He was awesome in that movie. So so I want all the fans that are watching live and also listening to the show right now to go to movieguyspodcast.com and clip on and, and go to the search bar on the top right and click on Game Night. You will not see any archive. No, you ever. deleted it. You, you, you did definitely the, deleted it. I never deleted it. that episode. There. What's wrong with you guys? It's there. It I, is definitely. I, I just watched Game Night over the holiday season. I just watched it for the first time over holiday season with Rachel McAdams. Don't fuck with me. Look, we, I, it's we, not we, there. we did a versus. We had to do a versus. No. Because you didn't see it then. <laughs> no. We did because not. I, I distinctly remember watching it, and I distinctly remember watching it for this show because I'd have no reason to ever see that movie. Did that movie was reason. never on the schedule. Maybe anyway, it was just a twofer. Did me and Ed just do it no. then? No, it was. It's we've never reviewed Game Night. Movie Guys Podcast has never reviewed Game Night. It was not a versus. It was not a twofer with you and Ed. We've never reviewed Game Night. I wish we were reviewing Game Night. Yeah, exactly. Don't <laughs> oh, fuck with me on this. No, we de- Okay, I'm not arguing your no, point I, with you, but you're absolutely wrong, Jordan. We absolutely did review it. Gonna, <laughs> all right, okay, back back to yeah, Vice. Back, back to Vice. <laughs> <laughs> back to back back to Vice. Yeah, Go back, back to, to Vice. Vice. So uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> he, Jesse Plemons is in this movie as the, as the heart donor, right? Yeah. And you kind of get this thing where he's like, I guess you could say we're kind of related type of thing. And so they they do this extra punch where Dick Cheney's uh, right after the transplant, he says it's his new heart. It's not even the, the other guy's heart. Right. He yeah. So the movie kind of goes out of its way to show that these guys are, are very uh, merciless. Just cold people, dude. I love yeah. in the movie when he's walking down Capitol Hill or whatever. And mm-hmm. he's falls to the ground holding his chest, and the guy's like, what's going on? And he's like, I'm having a heart attack, you dumb shit, or whatever. Yeah, he's yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he, that, was the, that was the continuous thing that happened with him a bunch of times. He had a, he was having a heart attack, and he's like, uh, I think I need to go to the hospital. Yeah. yeah he was, we need to go to the hospital right now. I'm having a heart attack. Um, yeah. Before, before no. we close out the show, I know Ed wants to talk about it. I just know. I never talked to Ed about this before the show, but I know he does because I know him. Ed wants to talk about the scene in the movie where he shoots the guy in the face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ed, 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 Ed wants to talk about this one. I know for sure. So Ed I, talk about it. Well, let's, 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 let's go ahead and have a little discussion about the shooting in the face. This it was a scene. It was a quick scene. I know, which was terrible. I remember. I remember it happening. Obviously, you know, I wasn't there, but I remember it happening over over the news is that Dick Cheney shot a dude in the face, and the dude apologized to Dick Cheney for for you know he didn't you know, he apologized to Dick Cheney for what had happened, how everybody had made fun of him. He didn't apologize for getting shot in the face. He did, however, apologize for this whole situation becoming uh, an embarrassment for the vice president. Regardless, but, that the guy disagreed with Dick Cheney. But, right, okay. they were buddies. They were quail hunting. Quail hunting. And they were quail hunting, and Dick Cheney shot him in the face. Uh-huh. And I mean, I don't know exactly the, the nature of the conversation. Maybe Dick Cheney accidentally did it, like was said, or maybe he meant to shoot him in the face, and he fucking shot him in the face. 
No, that that's exactly what I think I did. And what I liked about the movie was the movie did not out there and just said, so this asshole shot a guy in the face. I like the movie didn't do that, mm-hmm. but I will choose to believe that uh, that Dick Cheney wanted to be a uh, a mobster and shoot a guy in the face. That's that's what I choose to believe. You choose to believe a lot of things. That, you know, I, believe, is I believe in facts, but anyway. And I don't know. Best monster. <laughs> that's monster. That's real, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. No. Didn't mean to bring it up. You don't make me go on a five-minute Nessie rant. I will. Anyway. But, anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Eric, Eric, what do you think about Dick Cheney shooting a guy in the face? I, I mean, par for the course of this movie, I guess. Like There you go. It, it's just, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like, why like why even, I, oh, I, I know why you're showing it. Again, to show that this, this guy's just like a heartless person. But it's mm-hmm. like, this guy seems to be like he fits the role almost. Like it just seems like that's like the body type, you know. Like that's just how, uh, uh, how a lot of what the hell is that movie? H- 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 or the, uh, the book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No, oh, the, yes. the 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 yeah, mm-hmm. uh, That's basically Dick Cheney, like a bureaucrat <laughs> through, through and through. Like that. That's what they have. Some people are just born like that. So this guy's. Like was a CEO too. I swear to God, I, there's a guy I went to high school with, and I, I saw a picture of him recently because of whatever the fuck. Oh, for our ten year uh, reunions, I was like, oh, that was a while ago. Anyway, the guy is like uh, thirty years old. Looks like he's fucking fifty five. Not even kidding. You. Just like looks balding, got the gut the, and everything like that. He just looks like mm-hmm. a CEO. It's just like fuck. That's that's what it looks like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's just what a CEO. So the yeah, Trump diet. I yeah, exactly. So they they that's the body type, man. And I think uh, yeah. that's just Cheney just was born to to play. He's just a cold hearted motherfucker who doesn't care. But I there's that part at the end where he gives his interview speech, and I feel like that's really a thing. Like he really believes. I I don't I don't know. Do you think he really believes that he that he was you elected him to do a job, he did the fucking job. That and that's it. Thank you for letting me do my job for you. Thank yes. you for thanking me. <laughs> yes, no, I actually believe truly that's what he believes. Yes. I also believe that he believes that he was the president of the United States. Now, I also believe that he thought that he was the greatest motherfucker that ever lived, too. I think he's a smug bastard. Um, he had control. And, that Halliburton show is also pretty fucked up, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing, though, is that, is that, is that, is that you can, it, let's just, I'm, I'm going off not the movie. I'm going off of my own political um, opinion. But when you have um, a puppet whose asshole is so fucking loose, you can put a, a fucking volleyball up there like, George Bush, you can control anything, uh, no matter who you are, and that's exactly, there would be no Cheney without Bush, I mean, like, Cheney would not be able to even remotely control Trump, or even Obama, or Clinton, over our years uh, of the uh, recent presidents, Uh, Cheney just needed a puppet, and this movie has told me nothing about him, Um, this movie... This movie's told you plenty of... About him, I it guess. It told me opinions. It didn't tell me facts. See, that's the thing. That's the problem. And I guess we get into our final reviews, and I'll go first for our popcorn rating. Um, this movie didn't tell me facts. This movie said right off the beginning that this movie is based on what we think happened. Uh, we don't know what happens. I don't know the. Re- I don't know his relationship with Amy Adams. You're making a movie. You got to follow a fucking formula, and you don't give me an A, B, and C. Sure. They give me, they give me. He has Amy Adams. She says, "Get clean," and then all of a sudden, he's in the White House. Like they don't show me how he gets to that point. That's what I wanted to see. If I'm going to sit here and watch a two and a half hour film about Dick Cheney, I want to know everything about this motherfucker. I don't want to know about happenstance. I don't want to know about he said, she said. I want facts. And this movie mm-hmm. didn't give me that. Well, you want to give your popcorn now? Then after that? Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Is that I, I feel that this movie. It's the worst movie I've seen in a long time just because of a technical aspect. Um, I don't see why people 
uh, or creaming over Christian Bale. He, like I said, he just ate a lot of Big Macs and talked in his Batman voice. I've seen him act better in countless other movies. Amy Adams, I love her in everything just because she's Amy Adams and she's great. Um, but it told me nothing new about the character. It told me nothing new about Dick Cheney. I thought Adam McKay did a terrible job in telling the story. Um, I will not waste my time or anybody else's time. And I apologized to my wife after we watched this movie. And I said, sorry for making you watch this. No bags. I will not spend any oh. popcorn on this movie. No, no bag. Terrible movie. Um, so, uh, Eric, Eric, let's go with you real quick, buddy. What's your popcorn rating for Vice? Well, um, basically, here, here's, here's the thing is that this movie is I, – I got – basically, it's just one – uh, the tattling on one person. I don't want to make it seem like there's any political bias in this because there isn't. It, it just really, to me, seems like uh, um, I don't like Dick Cheney and I don't like all the, the shit that happened with the the Iraq Afghanistan thing. I was more familiar with that than um, a lot of his earlier workings, and so that would have a little bit more influence and uh, something I can I can relate to when when that going through because that was some bullshit. Man, to think that like. So, the, the Dom and his kids were just hanging out one day, and America was just like, "Hey, you know what? We're gonna fucking kill you." Like that's that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's that's messed up. That's really messed up, man. But this this Dick Cheney guy is like, I know he's he's an asshole of a person. It just shows that these people, like that type of person, is just they don't give a shit about you. Nope. They're playing a different game. That's all I got from this movie, though, and they just told it in more ways than one, and. Yeah, yeah. It, I think I think it, it's almost like they took every story that was in the headlines and they just kind of did like a a, a movie interpretation of it, like a the drunk history version of it, you know, where they acted. Oh, hey, drunk history. Perfect. That's a good one. That, I think that's, that's basically what they got. All the books that were talking about how you know, or, or the memoirs, and they picked the ones they wanted to do. Like, yeah, we can act that one out. We can do a scene of that. We can do a scene of that. We can do a scene of that. So that's how I feel like this movie was. Um, I enjoyed the act, the acting, and it. I don't think it was a challenge for anyone to act in any of their characters, um, but they are all characters, mm-hmm. so that's what it was. Like you said, you guys said it's better. It's a it's a personation. Okay. It's not a an actual like um, a capote type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I I, oh, I, I enjoyed it. What are you gonna do? With with that being said, I don't. Um, oh, and I like the, the 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 stylings of of what he does that MK does in the movies, where they they give you the little educational kind of um, parts there. I always found it to be innovative. That's great. I don't think I much care for the narrator. That was just kind of a, a weird way to tell the story. But I understand how why he does it. Is so your your attention is always there, but it it also might move too fast for some people. I know that. Uh, the people who I was watching with, they had, they thought it was too fast. They, they had some questions. They were asking questions. Wait, who's that again? Who is that? What do they do? What do they, you know? And that's basically how the big short was, where they do a little spiel about how percentage or whatever mortgage works. You say, whoa, whoa, wait the hell second. What the, what did you just say? Mm-hmm. Everything you just said, I don't know what you just said. So that's, that's where I'm at. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I don't think I'm ever going to watch it again. I'll give it a bag of popcorn just because. Oh, a small bag. It was a, it was a, Fine, but like I said, I don't th- I don't see myself watching this movie ever again. I, I I really don't. There was a lot of stars in this. I liked a lot of those like I like Lily Raby. I like uh, Alison Peel. Alison Pill. I mean, um, you know, the, the faces that showed up. But I don't know, that's just that's just what it is. It's you know. Next, so on to the next one, boys. Let's go. So that's a small bag from. I'm sorry. That is a zero no bag for me. That is a small bag from Eric Ed. How are you going to end this one? Where are you sure. going to go with it? Um, you know, I'm going to try to make this as short and sweet as, as I can. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I've, I've already touched on all the points that I wanted to make. Everybody knows, every, all the, everybody in the movie guys verse knows I am not a fan of Christian Bale, not whatsoever. I think he's the, one of the most overrated actors of all time. So, again, he didn't act in this movie. He impersonated, he impersonated, and poorly so, I think, Dick Cheney. Amy Adams, I don't know whether or he's not she was. Got a Golden Globe. A, I'm interrupting you already. He's got a Golden Globe already, and you're saying that, that he's a uh, he's a shit. He, he, well, I was going to get to this point, but I, yep, I'll, I'll jump ahead. I, I, I will get to that point, but I'll jump ahead to my, uh, myself to, to answer that question. 
they the reason this movie was written and the reason this movie got all these awards was because of somebody's opinion of how shitty George Bush was and how shitty Dick Cheney was. I was there. I I I, I thought also that they were shitty, but my the reason I thought they were shitty was based in facts. This reason they thought they were shitty is because of somebody's opinion. Mm. So they're creating opinionated caricatures of you're, actual people. You're saying this movie was done with bias. Is that yes, yes, and that's okay, but not in a bio, not in a biopic. This movie's a comedy, and I they had to classify it as such. He got a Golden Globe nomination as leading actor in a comedy or musical. But he's only getting that because of the people that are voting in these things, and the because of the people behind the movie won the shit on Dick oh, Cheney. Right. This was supposed to be a comedy, right? This is a comedy. He got it for all. The, you got to remember, all these awards that they're getting are for in a comedy or in a musical. They're not an actual. They're not an actual real. Definitely not as funny as comedy. The Martian. I can tell you that. Right. Right. right, right. Which also <laughs> won for best comedy or musical, right? Yeah, you're right. Um, I, I, these, they, they were, this, I would have made, and I, 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 any other director would have made better choices, I think, than what Adam McKay did. Adam McKay, because the big short needed some explanations like that, like sure, you sure. said. Cheney, did, this movie didn't need those things. This movie, like Jordan said, insults your intelligence to assume that you don't know how shitty Dick Cheney was. I fucking know how shitty Dick Cheney was. Don't make fun of it. Don't caricature it. Don't make it. A comic book, fucking just tell me how shitty he was. It's not what they did. They insulted my intelligence be- as somebody who was against him from for factual reasons because he's the fucking he is Emperor Palpatine to Bush's Darth Vader. Oh. That was the fact. Oh, oh, oh. and oh. they and they just oh. made it like he backed into this somehow. And then oh wait a minute, I had his plan all along. Right. So. I, they they not, they were trying to make fun of him, and they fucked up making fun of him. It almost so, seemed like I, like I was watching again, like House of Cards. It seemed like that towards the end, it was the Underwoods, not the Chains. And it was the shitty. It was the last season of, of of House of Cards where they they manufactured bullshit, fucking shitty drama. Because because well, you know because because yeah, you know <laughs> that the last season of, of House of Cards fucking sucked. So what's because your popcorn? They had, they had to kill this this movie. Yeah, get to your popcorn. With, okay, okay. My popcorn rating is this is is just hot butter in my hands, burning my burning oh, my. So, hands. so it's no bag, no bag. I'll give it. I'll give it a no bag, but butter burning my hands. I want a you to put no that on bag. Website, butter burning my hands. So um, you have heard it here first from Movie Guys podcast that I myself Jordan here. I give this one a no bag. Ed this Ed gives this one a no bag, and Eric gives this one a small. A small bag of popcorn one, for Eric. One bag, no refill. Small no. bag. Yeah. A small bag. It's, it's the one that's been sitting there since noon because it's free small bag day. Very small bag day. There you go. Um, I, I still the, enjoyed the 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 movie. Don't get me don't get me wrong, but you know what? The, what you say is a comic book. That's the best way I can. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of did play like a comic book, didn't it? Mm-hmm. It did. It's it. It's just, see, that's the, that's what's great about this is that we could enjoy something. But then we have to put our fucking Movie Guys podcast review goggles on and go, well, eh, wait a minute now. And, and that's mm. what it was because I was so excited to see this movie. And it just, it just not what it was that I wanted it to be. And not, it, it, it didn't make any sense. It just, it, it just insulted my intelligence when it came to actual filmmaking. This was not good when it comes to uh, standard uh, filmmaking. This is where the shitty so. part is that we need to emphasize is that again yeah. we're we're talking about a movie and not about we're trying to unbias the bio here. Yeah, and yes. and, and it's uh, as far as just movie movie going goes exactly. And yeah, <laughs> it's uh, yeah comic book. It almost feels like again like you had to have watched parts one and two before watching this movie. And of right. course, we know there's still parts one and two, but you know you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Yeah. yeah, you had to have been there to get what would ha- what had happened, but you had to have been there and been actually active to understand what they're trying to tell you. But they're taking the pieces that they're trying to tell you and giving you a whole different puzzle. Exactly. So hopefully next week, fans, we'll be able to give you a good movie review because next week starts our M Night Shyamalan 
a superhero series where we're going to come at you with Unbreakable leading up to Glass at the uh, towards the end of January here, which I know that us three are really excited to review Glass. Yeah, but we're, and yeah, our 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 M Night Shyamalan series is going to be brought to you by Inside the Cellar. So definitely, you know, definitely give, give the whole thing a look. Go back and check out uh, Split. I'll put a link. We'll put a link on all our social media and whatnot. We'll put a link on the website to go directly to Split because we're not going to redo that movie. We could do. But we could redo gonna... Split and Game Night. <laughs> we did a new Game Night. We definitely did Game Night. I'm sure, we did Game Night. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did just scroll through our archives and it's not there, but we fucking did it. I know we fucking did. Oh <laughs> wait, so we're gonna do Unbreakable next week, leading up to the week the the week of release of Glass. We're excited to give those two reviews to everybody here coming out very very soon. Uh, like we do at the end of every show here, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and make sure to check out other episodes. Just go to. Facebook and Twitter to search for Movie Guys Podcast and also download other episodes on iTunes and iHeartRadio and also on Spotify and MovieGuysPodcast.com and MovieGuysPodcast.Podbean.com to search for Movie Guys Podcast. You will find all of our stuff. Thank you so much for listening. And also, thank you so much for listening and watching to us live on Twitch and Twitter. You can find us on Twitch and Twitter, just uh, on Twitch and on YouTube, not Twitter, sorry. Uh, just go to just search Movie Guys Podcast and you'll be able to find our stuff there. Thank you so much, Eric, and I for joining me. And we'll be back next week for another awesome episode. Have a good night.